What's going on? My name's Joshua Smith, and this is my classroom management final project. First off, we have my letter to my parents. It goes, parents slash guardian. Let me first introduce myself. My name is Joshua Smith, and I will be your child's business teacher this year. I consider this opportunity a privilege and an honor to be a part be able to take part in helping to make your child's school year memorable as well as me. Until I have the pleasure of meeting you, I want to tell you about me. I am 27 years old, married to an amazing wife for four years, and I am a proud father of a, be of a beautiful seven-year-old daughter. I graduated with the class of 2008 from McGee High School, where I played football, basketball, and ran track. May 12, 2017, I graduated with a BA in Business Administration at the University of Arkansas, Monticello, where I was awarded the Top Graduate in Management Award. I am a proud member of the Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated, and, and a few of my hobbies include watching college football and basketball, working out, spending time with my family, hunting, fishing, and cooking. As I mentioned before, I will be your child's business teacher. There are a variety of themes that will be taught in these classes. There will be an audiovisual semester as well as a social media semester for the year. During the audiovisual semester, students will learn the basic functions of cameras, computers, and video recorders. They will learn the proper recording techniques, how to adjust lighting for videos, how to add or take away sound effects, adding graphics, and the proper setups for equipment. At the end of the semester, there will be a group project that the students will be required to complete. The students will create a movie and insert everything that they have learned throughout this semester into the movie. Social media will, will be taught the following semester. In today's world, social media means more than we can explain. Students will learn the do's and the don'ts of what to put on social media, how it has affected people in both positive and in negative ways, and how to use social media to build a brand and expand it. At the end of the semester, students will have created a company where they are responsible for that company's social media. They are going to be over promotions, products, advertising, and trying to expand the reach of the particular company. The two semesters will go hand in hand. The students will have the ability to create a well-developed concept within a video or movie for a business and will obtain the necessary knowledge how to use social media to benefit the concept. Since this is a business course, it is only fair that students treat it as such. Each week there will be a professional day where students will dress professionally. This is not a school requirement. Each, student, each week a student participates, he will be rewarded one bonus point for the class. There are 18 weeks in a semester for a total of 18 bonus points. Once again, students are not required to participate. What will students be required to do? Each student will be required to follow classroom rules, which will be enforced. There will be no exceptions. Each student will be treated with the same fairness and respect. Students are required to be respectful, not only to me, but to each and every other student. Students will be required to have class participation. There will be days where there will be absolutely no collective work being done and the students will work alone. Other days there will be 100% collective work in the classroom. Each student will, have, will be held to the same expectations and are expected to maintain the standard of the classroom. Parents, if you have any questions about anything dealing with your child, please feel free to contact me. I am willing to keep you up to date with what your child is doing in this class. You can reach me at the school 870-222-5026 or my personal email josh.smith at mcgeeschools.org. My conference hours are 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. every day. Do not hesitate to call and schedule a conference. Let's have a great year. Next is my mission statement. McGee High School Social Media and Audiovisual class will create a challenging experience that will, that will enable all students to excel in creativity, teamwork, and establish positive relationships. These relationships will foster an atmosphere that will enable each student to work to the best of their abilities. 
Social media and audiovisual opens up a whole new world and will allow students, teachers, and parents to go to places that they've only dreamed about. Students will not rush but will have ample time to complete assignments. To be successful in these, in these classes, students will need to prepare, be engaged, meet your deadlines, work together collectively and individually, and be open to a variety of different aspects and opinions. Throughout the year, students will give individual and group presentations explaining their current project. They will explain where they are going, how they are going to get there, why they are taking that route, and what they are trying to accomplish. Student feedback will be required for, for each student's project. Next, we have the classroom rules. Before the, class, before the bell rings, all homework assignments must be turned in. All students are required to be respectful to the teacher and each other. No student is allowed to leave the room without permission from the teacher. All students are required to bring classroom materials to class. Classroom Consequences Students who have not turned in homework assignments before the bell rings will, will receive a zero on that homework assignment. For being disrespectful, first offense, a verbal warning. Second offense, written warning. Third offense, student will be sent to the office. Students that leave the room without permission will be sent to the office. Students who do not bring classroom materials will have class, class participation points deducted each time. Classroom procedures and routines. First, getting to work immediately. Students will get a bell ringer off of the desk and begin completing the assignment. Students will be students will be given the first 15 minutes of class to complete the assignment before passing it in. Participating in class discussions. Each student will be required to participate during the class discussion. Students can volunteer to answer if they would like. If no students or the same few students are answering questions, other students will be called on. Once called on, a student is required to give a valid answer. Students will not be the students will not be deducted any points for giving a wrong answer, but will be deducted points if there is a lack of participation. Turning in papers. When turning in papers, students will need to do the following: the student's name, class period, and date should be in the header on the left side of the paper and the page number on the right side. Each paper is to be required is to be the required length. Or proper word count. The only format that will be accepted is Times New Roman 12 font double space. In order for a paper to be accepted, the student must hand it in to the teacher while walking into the classroom. Checking attendance. Students will sit quietly at their desk as the teacher checks attendance. When a student's name is called, he or she will raise their hand until acknowledged and, and will then lower it. Cell phones. When students are seated, they are required to have their cell phones at the top right quarter, corner of their desk. Cell phones must be turned off. Parent, teacher, student, contract. As a parent or guardian, I will show respect and support for my child, the teachers, and the school. I will read and support the school's discipline policy. I will attend parent-teacher conferences. I will show interest in my child each day concerning his or her school activities. I will help my child with his or her homework each day. As a student, I will show respect for myself, my classmates, and the teacher, follow classroom, school, and bus rules, respect the school's property by not stealing or vandalizing it, come to class prepared with my homework and my supplies, Talk to my parents about my school activities and school work each day. As a teacher, I will show respect for each child and for his or her family. Use class time as efficiently as possible. Provide a safe and comfortable environment that is conductive to learn. Plus, push each child to his or her fullest potential with challenging work. We'll reach out to students' parents if grades begin to fall. Enforce school and class rules fairly and consistently. We'll treat each student fairly. Let's work together and make this the best year possible. Next is the reward system. After completing five homework assignments with a perfect score, students will receive one homework pass, valid for any homework assignment. 
Students involved in class participation can earn bonus can earn bonus points for their class grade. Students can earn free time in class by completing classwork assignments with a grade of 90 or and above. Students that complete every homework assignment that can have two of their lowest grades drop. As long as there are no class disruptions, students will not be assigned seats. At the end of the week, if a student has not caused any class disruptions or received any type of discipl disciplinary consequences, they will be allowed to bring a snack to class. Working positively together during assignments can earn students the opportunity to be able to pick the group members or pick the group's assignment for a, from a variety of different assignments. Students will be able to leave immediately once the dismissal bell has rung, only if the student's area is kept clean. Classroom signals. First, there will be clapping. The teacher will clap a rhythm and the students will have to repeat that rhythm. Or there will be lights. The teacher will cut off the lights until there is complete silence in the classroom. Raising a hand. The teacher will raise their hand and the students will raise theirs. Hands will remain raised until class <clears throat> until the classroom is completely silent. Have a seat. If there is talking while the teacher is talking, the teacher will have a seat until the classroom is quiet. It's silence. And there you have it. That's my classroom management final project.